Questions? I got a question. Okay. The target is to eliminate our competitors at Javi Plaza from 7 a.m. sharp and to solve Dr. Prelay's red ocean problem. We need to strike where the enemy is not, at the South Javi stop and the NRT, simultaneously, by selling coffee and treats where they haven't been before and bring anything else you need. When this is done and the coast is clear, the ice will be delivered which other groups will need. You know this because our informants got the information from their source. We sell the ice at a profit, 60 seconds after it arrives. No earlier, no later than this. We need to remove all the seating from the jamming plaza to ensure that we have the only seating to attract all available customers, anyone with money to spend. We need to set up shop, like a restaurant, waiters, a host, fancy tables, everything that you would never expect to find elsewhere in this location. There will be other threats, ignore them, they are harmless. The look and feel needs to be unique, something Stu will never see again. Last thing, we need to make sure the environment is not harmed. We need bamboo cutlery, straws, cups and borehole water. The dress code is gloved in it to make sure we don't attract any unnecessary attention from Stu, but don't all get them at the same time. This will be suspicious. We need to be ready for a 6 o'clock start in the AM. Questions? Well, ain't you out you? That's my boss. identified that sound planning and preparation was the key to success, or an error minimizing mechanism at the very least. Planning started with role delegation. Each individual was responsible for the collection and sourcing of all the key infrastructure and equipment that we required. Time management was also really important. In order to ensure that we had everything ready in time, we had to complete all tasks by a false deadline, also allowing contingency time for any unforeseen circumstances. Lastly, production systems needed to be designed in detail in order to ensure efficient production, payment and service on the day. Ideas were generated by heading out as a team and experiencing successful food stores at the Hout Bay and Mojo markets. We recorded the experiences we thought would be successful, diverged on these ideas, then converged and selected the best combination of strategies for our food store. We had to pivot ideas several times during the actual implementation. Our marketing strategy emphasized the convenience of the restaurant setup as well as focusing on eco-friendly packaging and operations. Our store was in the same place with the same Mexican theme as before, in order to easily identify ourselves and be found. We made use of digital flyers with our menu, opposed to printed media, in order to reduce our paper usage. Thought-provoking signs were put up around the store which focused on our impact on the environment, or, rather, the lack thereof. We lowered prices by reducing input costs through bulk purchases from low-cost wholesalers. Lower prices allowed us to increase the sales volume. One main premium ingredient was used in order to create a perception of higher quality food, such as adding a scoop of guacamole to meals. Accepting meal vouchers also significantly increased sales. We managed to eliminate competitors and operate in a blue ocean by making strategic changes. We eliminated the need to find seating or wait for food by offering tables that were serviced by waiters. We decreased price through smarter shopping and competition by operating in areas on campus where there was no competition, such as setting up coffee stations at Jammy Stops and in the NLT. We increased service through our restaurant experience and environmental awareness through our eco-friendly execution. Lastly, we created a prestige through the look and feel of the infrastructure. We also created a secondary market consisting of our competitors by selling ice to them at a profit. Ladies and gentlemen, the role. Bryce, you'll be the videographer. Reeves, you'll be the chef. No, pastry chef. Tay, chef. Jacob, barista. Sharon, the money handler. Musha, 
the host and waiter, and I'll be cooking some things too. Now that that's done, it's time for an individual reflection. I'll start. I feel like I should be less sensitive towards people when under stress and pressure. Take initiative when opportunity presents itself. I need to not get stressed out when things are going wrong. Lack of sleep makes me inefficient and short term. Trust no one. I've learned that an efficient order and payment system is crucial in that for sales. Although community relief is important, I still go to learn to be serious. <laughs> <laughs> the more time the group spends together, the better they work as a team. Acknowledgement of efforts is vital. I think sometimes that having working personalities can lead to innovation. I think the group needs to communicate better. Understanding the roles and responsibilities increases productivity and collaboration. I'll take that one minute to work better as a team in the environment. Getting to know people on a more personal level allows me to understand their behaviour and their motivations. My business reflection is that the job is only done when you've broken everything down, cleaned and returned everything. You have to use money to make money and maintain healthy relationships with your sponsors. Sticking to allocated roles is really important. Just because Cape Cell 1 was a success doesn't mean Cape Cell 2 will be. There's a ton of variable that you can come People are the most important part of a business, even if you rather play than be with them. I've learned that transparency with customers reduces the risk of losing them. The difference between running a professional business versus a service is vastly different. 